Hi, this is Craig Calder at AdTech New York at the Javits Center 2010 for On Digital Media. We're talking with Leo Jolicor from MotiveCast. They are building some interesting uh, mobile games, uh, augmented reality and geo-based location. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing? Sure. What we do is we build casual gaming solutions, which are branded. We uh, build them for major brands. It's a white-labeled solution. So the casual games are built for mobile devices, iPhone, Android, and we use location-constraining services on the back end and augmented reality. So very simply, there are 350 Disney stores in the United States. You should be able to walk into any one of those Disney stores and see Tinkerbell fly on your mobile phone. You can tap collect on Tinkerbell, watch her transform into an offer that Disney would like to deliver to you. But I can only see that at a Disney store. Only at a Disney store. So in some examples that we'll show you here today, uh, we geo-constrained or geo-fenced all of the supermarkets in the, United, in the United States. One of the games that we can play is what we call Farm Bill in the Real World. Grab a seed out of the air, plant it at that supermarket. You have to go back at a certain frequency, say four or five times, water the plant, sprinkle sunshine on the plant, it grows to full maturity, and then you harvest the plant for special offers. And so are your partners seeing increased visits by their customers? Absolutely. So the, the core uh, principle of the game is to drive foot traffic to that location. The game can be played very far out from the center of the concentric, a concentric circle. But the gameplay gets richer and more rewarding as you get to that specific location. So drive foot traffic and drive return visits through some of our other games. Is there anything I can do to interact with the game, maybe not as rich, uh, online if I'm not in that location, or is it strictly geo-based? It's strictly geo-based. Okay. But again, for reach purposes, the game can be played at home. But it's not as rich. The gameplay gets richer and more rewarding as you get closer to the center, as you get to the desired location that the advertiser wants you to go to. And you mentioned that there's often offer-based rewards. Offer-based rewards, uh, a couponing system. So, so the characters, the avatars on the screen, actually are interactive elements that transform into an offer. So it, there's an offer management system. Uh, so you tap and tap on a say a flying Tinkerbell in a Disney store. You watch her right before your eyes transform into a coupon that could be redeemed at the cash register. Well, why don't we take a look at it? I know we're gonna try and uh, get a little demo here. Okay. So for example, in this room right now, and you can't see it. It's it's like entering a third dimension or using this viewer to see this third dimension. In this room right now, we have invading Coke bottles parachuting from the sky. So I'll start up. Okay, so we'll start up the screen, and we'll see these invading Coke bottles superimposed on the camera phone. I have a Pepsi slingshot. I'm going to get it ready, and I'll look around. There they are. They're falling from the sky. I use the slingshot to knock them out of the sky. And so, two aspects to the game, a skill-based component, knock as many out of the sky as possible, get on the leaderboard, and then a chance-based component. If I knock out the golden Coke bottle, I could win an offer, a reward from PepsiCo. Now this is all tongue-in-cheek. We built this game just as an example to show how PepsiCo could build a, you know, a game to offer their consumers. And that's because you're one of the Pepsi 10? That's correct. We're one of the Pepsi 10. So Pepsi 10 is, you know, they, they selected a number uh, 10 companies in social and mobile media uh, that are the most innovative companies out of a total of 500 companies that apply. And they actually made an investment in your company, correct? Uh, that is not correct. Okay. Yeah. Originally, I know they were talking about doing an angel investing. Uh, was, was there a prize to it, or just just, you know, a, just a reward? The the only thing that uh, the only thing that it means at this point is we get to work with a number of Pepsi brands, and uh, we're looking at uh, working with Pepsi brands to develop solutions and activation down the road. God, I, I was talking with the Pepsi folks earlier and they were originally talking about starting that as, a, as an angel uh, round. 
Uh, still possible. Right. Still possible. Well, thank you very much, uh, Leo Jellicor. Yes, sir. From Motive Cast. Uh, interesting uh, new take on mobile gaming. Uh, Craig Calder here uh, at AdTech for On Digital Media.